Hello, people. It's Tuesday with Terry time. No mom ain't today. Staying home. I got some clips to play. Give me a look. Look at that. Blessings. Especially for Tammy. But blessings for everybody today because she is in a blessing mood. She is in a blessing, blessing mood. A very blessing. You got anything you want to say? Oh, there's too much bullshit going on in mob tube and the bottom faders. They should be called mob faders. I see the most disgusting females in all the chats. The dog killer herself, TL, kissing up the stand-up guy. And her wonderful mother, Dixie Lee's in there with her. You know, it just makes your heart boil to see these scandalous fucking women that I have warned everybody about all piled up and the on the panel Carlos I thought you couldn't stay and stop cop callers all the women in that chat are cop callers job callers CPS callers and you stand up guy bowing down to Heidi the Gap Black that kicked a dog around you got a dog killer and a dog abuser you had FBS on the panel, a known cop killer, and caller, and if you want to see the proof, go watch that Asenio guy's channel. He's got him in the back of the ambulance. Oh, no, don't wipe the blood off. I want it on there for a dramatic effect. And talking to the cops and giving them a link, and you're sitting up there with a known cop caller. What does that say about you? You won't catch me on a panel. Not with a known cop caller. That's for sure. That's why I don't go on people's panels. That's why I stick with Rolex and Joey Dimes. The only two people I have found in mob tube that I can absolutely trust. Now, Poolstick and Mac have a secret alliance. Chicago Muscles being big friends with everybody. What in the hell is going on? It looks like the bottom feeders. You got known sworn enemies kissing each other's ass. Blah, blah, blah. You got T.L. and her mother, Dixie Lee, who I discovered and found out and put the proof out. Razorhead is another one of her subs. This Brenda... Tennessee that she sent over to me and thought I was going to be dumb enough to fall for that woman. Ain't going to work, Terry Lynn. Ain't going to work. You are not old enough or smart enough to get over on me. If those, these jokes think you're something to have in a chat when you're a known dog killer and you didn't just kill them, you tortured them with antifreeze. All of you people are sickening. Known enemies that can make up and be friends. I don't care if it's a I'm sorry, kiss my ass, or what it is. I will never make up with Johnny Mac. I will never make up with FBS. Never. I don't care what kind of apologies they have. And Mac, you better watch your step. Because you know I know some shit. And the only reason I ain't letting it out is because of Tabitha. And you can thank for that. And I have some clips to play of my little Scottish Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, but no one can talk to a horse, of course. Well, that's true, because you can't talk to her. They had a few little things to say about me, not much. In fact, I was kind of disappointed. But before you get started on that, let me read to you what the definition of doxing is. By the way, doxing is a YouTube world. Word, I call it exposure. And if it's public, there's nothing illegal about it whatsoever. You can do it every day, all day long, and nobody can do anything. So put all your little TPOs and your little cease and desist, put it away, because you can do it if you want to. I prefer not to. But these two, Maria and Ed, Look up who Mr. Ed was, the talking horse with the big teeth. You could understand him better than her. They're trying to say that I always say I'm not a doctor. Well, actually, I don't say that, you two stupid imbeciles. I say that I've never posted children. I have never called jobs. I've never called a cop. I've never called CPS. I've never called orders of pizzas in. I actually never said I didn't dox, but the two... Things that you accuse me of are lies. 
The only person I have totally exposed, and I ain't totally exposed her yet, is Minnie, the goddamn purse snatcher. And you can't have it both ways, Minnie. You can't have it both ways, and I've heard both your lies. One person, you said, oh, it wasn't a real Louis Vuitton. Well, in that case, why didn't you send it back? The other case, you gave it to somebody. Either way, it was a sentimental value to me, and you're a liar, and you're a backstabber, and I got the proof to prove it, and I've got some more shit on you. I deliberately exposed this bitch, and I warned her. I said, you either give me the purse back, shut your mouth up about it, or I'm going to drop a load on you, and I did. The other two instances you brought up were not even exposing. I'll explain that. And there's a third one that's about to get it, and that's Vault. So keep running your mouth, Vault. If you people would be out in the open like me, you wouldn't have to worry about anybody exposing you. If you people all making these alliances and all this shit, I get nervous with that shit. I don't go for that fucking being friends with somebody and happy-go-lucky the next. I didn't even like football teams when they did that shit. I didn't even want them shaking hands after the game. At this point, I trust Joy Dimes and Rolex, and that is it. So, Terry Time did a live, and Terry Time in a live apparently was saying that her and Sophie are the only two that have never met in your life. Terry Time, you're a liar. Yep. Oh, am I a liar? Why don't you explain that, Mr. Ed, the ox from Scotland? How am I a liar? I have never went real life. Real life is like what Maria does, posting my granddaughters, filing TPOs on everybody down the alphabet that she can go, causing trouble since the minute she came into the community. Trying to find people, trying to call people sisters, calling people schools. That's real life, you dumb, foreigner, Scottish piece of shit. You're a liar, Terry Time. Terry Time, what did he do? So, Terry Time did a live, and Terry Time and a live apparently. Ah, damn it, you just said that. You're not only stupid, you repeat that yourself. Her and Sophie are the only two that have never met your life. That's right. Terry Time, you're a liar. You're a liar, Terry Time. Terry Time, what do you think? Well, she ain't going to get to that point, but I want to show you. Real life is different than exposing someone. Real life is driving by their house or driving up to their house, and I don't blame if they did because he put money on the table. Come here and do this and do that. You get what you get. But these stupid bottom feeders have called jobs Called CPS, called cops, called hospitals, called churches, called schools. That's going real life, you ignorant bitches. And you can't find me doing that. And this little shit you're going to bring up, I'm going to prove to you right now is a lie. I expose people when I expose them. Many knew she was getting exposed. I said, shut your mouth up. Quit lying about that purse or I'm going to let you have it. I had her fucking address. She had to send me her address so I could send her that fake purse that don't mean nothing. She gave me her address. And Terry Lynn, everybody's got your address, too, so don't be blaming that shit on the bee. Everybody has your address. You're a liar. You're a liar, Terry Time. Terry Time, what see she when you were posting, she's never went in your life. See when Terry Time was posting Amber's home on Instagram before anybody knew where Amber lived? No, oh, you're a liar. Okay, let me tell you the little story about Amber, I think you're saying Amber. That's a good guess because I can't understand. Amber had threatened me. I don't know how many times. I've still got the screenshots. Threatened to come to East Texas and tell all my biker buddies that I was a snitch and blah, 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 blah. And then when she moved out of Texas, she was saying nobody could ever find her, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? If you got a real estate agent like I do, you can find anybody. And my real estate agent found where she was in about five fucking minutes. Did I come on my channel? Say where she was? Absolutely not. I put it on my Reddit page, a picture of her house. No name, no nothing. Just a picture of the house and a picture on my private Instagram. Never said who it was. Well, nobody said anything. So then I put a picture of the name of the town in Colorado. 
posted that for a couple weeks. Nobody still could get it because I never put her name on there, you dumb bitches. Never. And it was on my private Instagram and my re private Reddit page. I never posted anything on my YouTube channel or on my community tabs. Never have done that. Never said who it was. Never. Not one time. You're the first time saying it. So then what did I put? Oh, I put up a famous eating place in that town. Finally. Finally, after a month and a half, Christy Marie figured it out. Figured it out. With the clues, I was leaving. And she came out and told the witch. So there you go. If that's exposing somebody, that's a piss poor excuse. And I already had screenshots and hundreds of lies of her talking about coming to put, had a district attorney looking at me, going to have the cops chase me around and catch me with meth and a year of this bullshit from her who never does anything like none of the rest of you do either. So I put a few clues out there and guess what? They figured out where she was. I could have dropped the whole load right on my YouTube channel like you ignorant fools do, but I do things a little classier than that. Something neither one of you will know a thing about. So there goes that for that real life. There wasn't nothing in real life about it. Real life is totally different than what you're talking about. And you ladies know it because you've both done it. Um, on Instagram, before anybody yep. knew where Amber lived, that was going to yep. be real tight. That was going to be real tight time. That is not real life. Uh, uh, Mr. Ed, that is not real life. Real life is what Maria does. Putting my granddaughters up there. Calling people, I can't even think. She's probably done more of that shit than any of the bottom feeders, and they've all done it. But Maria has been, Maria, because Jessica likes to hear me say your name that way. She has done this shit to everybody she's ever been in contact with. Well, they can't do it to me because my shit's out there. I ain't scared of anybody finding me. But this, Maria has done real life shit. I can't even think of one person she hasn't done it to. That's real life. Not putting somebody's address and that shit out there. Because I want to read that to you exactly what you dumb, ignorant females think is illegal and what isn't. Hi, Judah number six. Then there was the time that she was outside, I think, the resort. Posting pictures. That was going to be a life Terry time. No, it wasn't. Terry Todd. No, it wasn't. Yes. Miss, Mr. Ed, the talking horse. It wasn't. Siwa had been talking about jewels in one of her known videos that she started her channel with, blah, 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 and about everybody. She was talking to Jules, and she said, I live on a big resort in East Texas. Well, I live in East Texas, and there's thousands of resorts. So Sharon and I were doing a mutt bank at a Sonic right over there by that Holly Lake Resort. And it was kind of drizzly out. And me and the witch had got sideways because I had paid her 60 bucks to put a spell on one of my ex-men, in fact, the one that tied me in the woods, to bring him some bad luck. And then she let the cat out of the bag, and I didn't want anybody knowing I was paying for a damn phony witch. I don't even believe in that shit. It was embarrassing. And then she not only did that, she put our DMs up, and she put my stepdaughter's name in it. That's why we got crosswise. I didn't give a fuck where she lived. She had said this out of her own mouth, a resort in East Texas. So Sharon and me are over there doing the mutt bank. And I, it was kind of a drizzly day. And I said, I wonder if that resort could be right up the road here. Because Sharon lives right over there. And I've got two brother-in-laws that live over there. Right by it. So I drive up to the fucking sign. Stand by the sign. Never said a word. Never said who it was, where it was. Just put my hand up by the sign. And Sharon took the picture. And I came back and posted it on my private Instagram and my private Reddit page. And the witch went nuts. She went totally nuts. So I knew I had her. 
Up till then, I didn't know if it was the right place or not. There could be a million resorts in East Texas. So you two bimbos have got that wrong. And how is that going real life when you are talking to her at her ex-husband and his girlfriend and Brooke is dogging her every single day and Brooke has called me on the damn phone after the witch let it be known that that was the resort wanting me to go do shit to her. And I said, go do shit to her yourself, Brooke. I'm not going to jail for you stupid-ass women. They're cop callers. If you want to fuck with her, you go fuck with her. So I didn't expose her either because she exposed herself. Those are the only two real-life things they've got. Those are the only two. They didn't mention all the shit they've done. I have never called a job, never called a person's house even to fuck yeah, with them. Never used a Google number. That's shit. Church, That's going to your life. <laughs> That's not going real life. You're ignorant. With a privacy strike. Privacy strike. Try doing it. Try doing a privacy strike. You've done everything else in the world. You've done TPOs. You've done everything you can think of. And you're an embezzler on top of that. You're an embezzler. I don't even have a criminal record. I've never went real life. I dis I'm disgusted by people that do. That's why I'm disgusted by FBS. Calling the cops and trying to make a big deal out of a damn nose that ain't even broke. He's a joke. And you two motherfuckers are too. You, that's all you got? Two little Amber and Siwa, which I didn't even say their names, but I did expose Minnie. I'm not done with her yet because she's lying about the purse. You can't have it both ways, Minnie. Either it was a fake and it's worthless or it's real and you sold it. But either way, you can't have can't have it both ways, things that the puppy people give me. You know that, you ignorant, backstabbing purse snatcher. And I did expose her, and I warned her I was going, but you didn't mention that. How come you didn't mention that? Because I blocked you off my Instagram, you can't see everything now? Hmm? Might that be it? Because you see, unlike you man, you mob women, and you bottom feeders, you flip and flop. So how could anybody trust any of you ever, ever? When known enemies are behind the scenes, I yap, 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 yap. Yeah, I, I made up with Johnny Mac. I'll pull stick good for you because I'm not. I don't care who you make up with. I'm not. I'm sticking by my standards. When I'm through with somebody, I am through with them. And Johnny Mac is one of them, and FBS is the other one. And Carlos, I had lost. You know, I thought maybe you were really a real deal, but saw you sitting up there with FBS and with that dog killer in the chat. Blabbity, blab, blab, blabbing and acting like a big shot when you know the whole story of the dog killing thing. I'm sticking with Rolex and Joey Dimes, and that's it. They're the only two that I've seen that I can trust. Because the rest of you are just like the women. I blabbity, blab, 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 cop callers. Or sticking up for cop callers. Either way. I think that's all of them. They only had the two little things, Siwa and uh, Siwa and Amber, who I never even said their names. And I nicknamed Scam. I nicknamed Amber. Oh, yeah. Gal. She did too. Josh Harris from uh, what was that called again? The ah, well, she, what they're talking about now. They only had the two I things of me, supposedly, real life. When uh, putting some. <laughs> picture of their house out there is not real life you dumb bitches it's not real life never has been never will be now let me read you the uh rules the terminology but it's not going to make any difference because you people keep going on being stupid no matter what you just got beat in a law case maria the judge said she never wanted to see you in front of her again this is a dox releasing listen up ladies and guys Releasing personal information that's publicly available and obtained legally is generally not a crime. But doxers can run afoul of laws against harassment, stalking, or intimidation. And authorities have prosecuted people for doxing based on illegally, illegally obtained documents. 
If they're public information, they're not illegally obtained, you stupid women. You stupid women. If I can Google your name and Google and everything comes up about you, that's public, ladies. That is public, and it's not, it might be bad taste, but considering who you're doing it to, that all of you deserve it. You're just sick and sick to your death that you can't do anything to me because my shit's out there. I'm, unlike you, I'm not afraid to show my face. My house, both my houses, that I do my little uh, snap whenever I feel like it. And Amber, of course, took everything down she ever said about me. But I got the screenshots where she threatened to come to East Texas and do this and do that. And gonna tell everybody that I was a snitch. Well, I never saw her come. She took her fucking lives down. I don't know what she's doing now. I don't know if she's dead or alive. Don't care. Don't know where she lives. Don't care. I have never come on my YouTube channel and said anything. I put it on a private Instagram or a private Reddit. Unlike you women who get on YouTube and just run their mouths and run clips and show screenshots, I don't do any of that shit. I use your own words to make fools out of you. Very easy to do. Very, very easy to do. Oh, and Paul, if you're watching this, Paul and I are having trouble with the system in that prison because for some reason the virtual call's not working at all. I had been verified on that system for I don't know how long and it comes up. You're not verified, so I do everything it tells me, my driver's license, all that stuff. I hit submit, still can't do it, so it's driving me crazy. But we are talking on the regular phone. So, Paul, I don't know. It's still coming up that I got to be verified. I've done it three times now, and it's still coming up that I haven't been verified. And I have to talk to you about something Sharon told me, but I'm going to talk to you in private. That, hey, have a good day. Can't wait to talk to you soon. Okay. Now, we're going to listen to the great FBS. He hasn't learned a thing. He didn't get beat bad enough. You better be glad a hillbilly didn't come and see you, buddy. You better be glad that them hillbillies you cut down on. Oh, and something else about old Mr. FBS. Ooh. And did this ever catch this atheist eye? He was trying to show his pathetic bruises, which were laughable. Pulling his shirt up. Look at that. You could barely see a bruise on him. Barely. I mean, it was sickening. I haven't even seen women bathe like that. I've seen them lay in hospital beds and act sick, but... Even they had a little bit more going for him. So anyway, he's pulling his shirt up. And there's this picture of it looked like Charlie Manson to me. He said, oh, this is a Jesus tattoo that I had. Are you kidding me? I knew you were a phony. I knew by the way you acted, you were not an atheist. Because atheists don't act like you. They don't cut people down. They don't act like they're smarter than everybody. They don't cut religions down. I've been an atheist longer than you've been alive. And I've been around plenty of them. And very few people even know I am one. That's how cool I am about it. And if you'd have just kept your mouth shut instead of pulling that up and saying, Oh, that's a Jesus tattoo. Well, I guess that makes you a Christian then, doesn't it, Mr. FBS? Since you're more than willing to call Rustin MRE a Nazi because of a Nazi tattoo. I am a Trumper because of my Trump tattoo. And I was married to two one percenters. But you pull your shirt up and there's a scraggly looking, the worst image I've ever seen of Jesus in my life. And believe me, I've been to church a bunch. I've seen a bunch. He could have said, oh, this is a Charles Manson. He'd been better off doing that because I knew there was something fucked up with you. I knew since the first time you said that they were using it, you were using it as some kind of game to make people think you were better or something. I don't know. I've never known atheists that acted like you. And now I know why. You're not one. No, no atheist would have had a tattoo of Jesus Christ. And all it would have taken is you to put... It already was scraggly looking. It looked like a prison tattoo, basically. It wasn't good. You could have just had the name Charles Manson or Castro or anybody. Nobody would have known in a million years that that was Jesus. So you're feeling it, buddy. Just admit it. It's okay. I'm an atheist. I don't care if people pray. I don't care if they don't. I don't care what they do. Here's my little 
prayer dog right here. And she is a real prayer dog. She's not made up. You should put a picture of hyena on your chest. Yes. And for all the little uh, Reddit posts I seen with me with my pearl necklace. Do you women even know what pearl necklaces mean? I doubt it. And hyena did not predict that me and Pull Stick were going to be friends. We have never, never really been friends. But I've never actually hated him like I do Mac in FBS. That's it. End of story. No big deep dive on that one. And now since he's sliding up with Johnny Mac and stuff, I don't know how long that's going to last because I can't be in a chat with that fool. I just can't. And I can't be in a chat with a dog killer, antifreeze queen, TL, or uh, Heidi, gat tooth black, another dog abuser. I can't do that either. I can't be civil to people like that. So I'm going to stay solo like I've been or be with Joey Dimes and Rolex and that's it. Because the rest of you, it's pathetic. It is really pathetic. And I want to play you a little clip I have on the great humble FBS. Oh, he's such a humble man. He, he doesn't think he's better than everybody. No, he's humble. And he's wrong, too. And I'm going to point that out to you. He's dead wrong in the shit he's saying. Okay. Everybody else does too. I've just always been better at making it. I think I'm a better entertainer. I'm definitely more well spoken than any fucking buddy on here. No, you're not more well spoken than any fucking buddy on here, and you're just a better entertainer. No, you're not, FBS. That's in your own mind. You're a narcissist. You are a narcissist and have no self awareness whatsoever, especially when you pulled your little shirt up and I seen the little tattoo of Jesus Christ on this atheist body. Okay, I'm a funny motherfucker, I know that. And You're not I, I funny. I can hold an audience. And Nobody you can't can, hold an audience. Nobody can dispute that. I can dispute it. I'm disputing it. And that's why I do better than everybody else. You don't do better than everybody else. Everybody else. Do you know, Mr. Know-it-all Christian wannabe atheist, that you don't get near the numbers that Angel Gotti gets or Lee Cole. And that's in this little pathetic community. Try to hang over there where I, where I hang. They have millions of subscribers. You are nothing. You're not even anything in mob tube. Now you're hanging over there with stand-up guy trying to grab some of his numbers, which you'll probably do because I see a bunch of stupid bottom feeder women over there. You, are, you don't even do as good as Angel and Lee. I went and looked at their numbers. They're both way better than you are. Don't even mention the conservative twins that you dare to talk bad about. They've got four point some million. Brandon's probably got more than that. All of them, who do you think you are? And who is your stupid people and they're listening to you? Wake up, people. He's a phony. He's not even an atheist. If you're going to lie about something, don't have a Jesus Christ tattoo on your body. Does too. I've just always been better at making it. I think I'm a better entertainer. I'm definitely more well-spoken than any fucking buddy. No, you're not. I'm, no, you're not. I'm a funny motherfucker. You're I'm not funny. And, uh, you know, I can hold an audience. You can't Nobody hold an can, audience. Nobody can dispute that. Nobody. I'm disputing I, it. Um, I, I am disputing it. Anybody else. Those are the reasons. Those are the reasons. Everybody else does, too. I've just always been better at making it. See how he thinks of himself is so great? Even after he made a colossal fool of himself by offering people 1400 bucks to drive up. And then making a lie up about how many people was there. And then saying he got hit by a bat, which never happened. And then using the N-word with a hard R with no problem when he's crying racism every day. Unless you happen to be Marla or somebody that's a conservative. This fool still has people that listen to him and believe him. And he's still going on other panels. It is unbelievable to me. And I'm staying solo and I'm hanging on my snake people. And my fish people. And my trump people. And my hillbillies and my rednecks. Because I know where their loyalty is. They wouldn't put up with this scum for five minutes. And I'm not going to either. And Max, just as bad. The two most hated people that I hate got in a fight. And he can't even be honest. He was sitting in the ambulance. Go check out that ascending. I'll put his description. He's got the whole, he doesn't have the hospital video, but he has the ambulance. And you don't go in an ambulance for a broken nose. Sorry. You just don't. 
You just don't do that. And that woman said, well, let me wipe your face off. I can get it all cleaned. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave it, leave it, leave it. It's good for the... <laughs> like, you make me sick. And the fact that you people have him on your panel make me even sicker. And the fact that you got dog killers and cop callers and CPS callers all through your chats with them bottom feeders makes me even sicker. And you're all going to find out. You're all going to find out the hard way that your loyalties are going to get you nowhere. Now, rednecks, hillbillies, white trash, Trump, and strippers. And I'm finding out a lot from watching all you people scatter around and behind the scenes trying to be big friends. And Paul, hopefully we'll get to do the virtual. Trump, 2024. I'm not going to be doing no Tuesday on Tuesday because I, unlike the rest of you, I really have shit to do. And uh, don't even try to lie about the dogs, TL. Don't even try to lie about that. Don't try to lie about Dixie being your mommy because I found all that out and I posted the fucking picture. And Razorhead, I figured you were TL out. You didn't hang around me for two weeks. And I got your other one pegged too, your Brenda, Tennessee. I know that's you too, TL. So you need to go ahead and get you some different socks because I'm figuring your sock accounts out. Oh, yeah. Dixie Lee Ranch, Miss Mommy Love, TL's Mommy. Oh, yeah. How long did you think I'd be stupid enough to fall for that shit? If I fall for something, it's because I'm letting you people think I'm falling for it. Vault, you're next. You're next. Minnie, you need to shut up about that fucking purse. It was either a piece of shit and not real, or it's real and you sold it. It can't be both. And either way, you should have sent it back. You should have sent it back, but you're not a decent person. You never have been. In fact, none of you fucking bottom beaters are. I have three women out of that community that I absolutely trust and two men out of the mob tubes. That's it. Out of the whole mess of you. So, adios, ciao. And from what I'm seeing, I'm going to be solo for a long, long time. Unless Rolex ever feels like doing another show. And uh, Maria and Mr. Ed, the talking horse from Scotland, get your facts straight. I never said C was name. I never said old gal scammer's name. The only person I've come right out and said their name is Minnie, Deborah Silver, and Vault, you're next. I'm giving you a heads up on that. But I'm still not going real life. I'm still not calling their jobs or their house with endless Google numbers and cues of people of calling my house because that doesn't happen to me. Isn't that funny that that never happens to me? Isn't it funny that nobody does any real life shit to me? I'll be talking to you later, Vault. And uh, Maria and uh, Mr. Ed, you need to get your facts straight about the dachshund and what you can sue people for and go to court over and your little cease and desist. The tons of paperwork, the endless paperwork that you've called the courts to have to do for nothing. For nothing. FBS, you got what you had coming. You didn't get it good. I'll give you that. That wasn't much of a beating. I've been beat way, way worse than that. Way worse. I never called a cop. And the rest of you can explain to yourselves why you're taking up for a cop caller when this whole mob tube thing is supposed to be against snitching and cop calling. You need to figure that out in your own minds. Anyway, ciao. Hello, people.